y'all doing today? Looks like be one of the last sunny, semi-warm days out here in Spokane. Y'all keep asking me about the price tag. What do I pay for my car? Excuse me, my trucks. What do I pay for my trucks? What do you pay for this? What do you pay for that? Guys, I really can't give you a number to go off of as far as, oh, I just paid 42000 for my pickup. That would be incorrect. That would be improper because every little thing costs money, especially when you're buying brand new. You know, you add this, you add that. It, it adds up. So it would be uh, incorrect for me to come in and say, hey, uh, you know, you can buy these trucks at 42. No, you can't. Uh, what I can tell you for a uh, rule of thumb is you need to knock off at least $10,000 off MSRP. MSRP ain't no invoice. MSRP is just manufacturer's suggested retail price. Ain't no law or rule that you need to go by. So it, it gives everyone a ballpark uh, of where this vehicle needs to be in. I think that's the sole purpose of that, more or less, as it speaks for itself. Manufacturer's suggested retail price. Man, on side note, that Maserati sounds good. I don't know if you can see it in the video of the car up ahead of us. Never knew Maserati makes good exhaust system. I've always ran into them. Sound like crap. Anywho, guys. So, my, uh, for me, the best way to answer the question that keeps arising is, uh, just go at least 10 grand. There's more meat on that bone than 10 grand, but if you could do at least 10 off MSRP, you know you're getting a good deal. Anything on, over that, you're getting a smoking deal. Wait, oh, yeah, excuse me. Man, it's 9 o'clock and I'm still yawning. That can't be good. Yeah, it's Monday. Okay, I'll forgive myself. Anyways, guys, so rule of thumb, if you can knock off 10 grand, you're doing well. And uh, how far How far have I went? Eh, your dealers are going to hate me on this one, but... I believe I'm as far as 13.5 off of MSRP. So I always try to keep it between 13.5 and 10. Um, the guy had to earn my business. And I, you know, I run a hard bargain from time to time. Well, no, it wasn't from time to time. I stopped by, I think, two, three times at my local dealership, and they, they just weren't working with me, you know, and I checked out Dave Smith, and they weren't working with me a whole lot easier, you know, uh, a whole lot better, they're just, you know, for an average Joe that goes into a dealership, Dave Smith's gonna give them a better deal, because what does Dave Smith do, they just, you know, knock off five, six grand, and said, hey, you're getting a sweet deal, you know, they get, gets the customer in and out, and off they go to the next customer, but no, a guy like me, he wants to build a relationship, because I need to buy these pickups, two, two three of them uh, a year, so... Therefore, I try to leave a little bit of meat on the bone, but guys, I, I need my, you know, I need my deals. So make, to make a long story short, I established a relationship with my local dealer. I did all the research I could as far as pricing goes, and I um, came in one day and uh, asked for a truck. They say that they didn't have it, they had to order it, and... Uh, that was all true, and we ordered it, and when the negotiation happened, I told them this is the price I need, and the truck was like 71 or 72 MSRP, and I'm coming in at 55, the guy's looking at me like, yo, buddy, you lost it, <laughs> you're, missing, you're missing the train here, yo, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, they said, no, the best we could do is like 68, I believe, at the time, I'm like, guys, I'll come in at 58, that's it. At the time, I knew that 58 was, was the, lead, you know, the lowest number they'll sell to me for. So, second time around, the, the finance manager, whoever, the head of the finance guy came out. He's like, where are you coming up with this number? He's just straight up. My like, XYZ equals this. This is what I'm offering you. He's like, yeah, but you're missing 800 bucks. I'm like, oh, you're right. I added a sum because I was contemplating back and forth. So I'm like, I'll sign this at 58.8. You'll have more of my business. Lord behold, I said, okay, let's do this. I was very surprised, to be honest with you. I was very surprised with them because, you know, I took off, I took off all the money I could 
I went as far as uh, every manufacturer throws in shoot, what is it called? Pretty much a little chunk of change for the dealership to advertise wash and all that. Well, I even backed that out because it was a special order. All the guys needed to do is uh, pick it up from the train, give it a wash, and hand it over to me. Man, there's a term for that. I keep forgetting. But anyways, so I even backed that out, and I left him with 300 bucks initially. And then the guy said 800 He was right because I added a sunroof. So even at 58.8, I left him with $300. Oh. In my calculation. Well, at the time when we were doing negotiation, I, I know I'm repeating myself. I wanted to go a little bit into detail on this one. I told him I'm going to be buying another truck very shortly and then another one right after. The guy believed me, but not for long. And here's where the problem lies. I came back, I don't know, two, three months later, bought another pickup. And it was great and all. I got the deal that I thought I was going to get. I mean, as far as ballpark goes, because it means that, as I said, it's thirteen to $10,000 margin off on MSRP. So, but the problem is, when I went third time back, they wouldn't, they wouldn't give me the deal I needed. And the, the deal I knew that they could give me. And it wasn't like, it wasn't on the high end. You know, I think I was barely pushing 10000 MSRP. I'm like, guys, I'm not here to waste my time. In yours, you know, you guys do this all day and you get paid hourly, and then when you sell, you get commission. You know, you make more on commission than you make hourly. I understand all that, but this is my last time. I'm telling you that this is what I need to walk out with this truck. And you know, as I said, I left more meat on the stick than I than I was uh, than I usually do, and they, they wouldn't buy. Like, no, we can't do this. I'm like, I'm gonna get in my car tomorrow morning and leave town and go to Idaho. And visit Dennis Dillon or Dun, Dillon? Den, no, Dennis Dillon. You guys see that burgundy truck in my uh, channel? I just did a review on it recently. Uh, that's low 200s. And uh, they wouldn't budge. My locals wouldn't budge. And I told them, hey guys, hey doggy, you might want to move before I run you over. Please. Don't make me. Don't make, don't make me a bad person. Anyway, so that deal fell through. I said, well, hell with you guys. I'm done. Call up my dad. I'm like, Dad, can you go out to Boise with me tomorrow? He's like, sure. But there's a funny story behind that one, but I'll, I'll share that for another time. So I went out next morning, picked up that burgundy truck, and came back into town. Lord behold, on my way back into town, guess who's calling me? My salesman. He's like, you know, this and that. The way the phone call went it was like, hey, Paul, I have good news for you. I was able to chisel 500 bucks, I think. And he was a great man. And I'm like, Mark, oh, I'm a businessman. I don't have time for these games. I'm sure as hell convinced that you guys had the margin. But you guys just don't want to sell. Like, I'm not going to go run around here. So why don't you uh, save yourself the time and uh, next time? And I'm going to give you a chance, one more chance. Next time when I come around, don't give me this game. He's like, yeah, but I got this deal. And I'm like, hey, the deal is over. I came over yesterday. We talked. And you, you know I'm a serious guy. If I say something, I'll do it. And I, he's like, he's all apologizing. I'm like, Mark, it's not your fault. Transfer it down to, uh, pass it on down to the finance. I'm already in a new truck. I'm driving through LeGrand right now. And, uh, Yeah. I'll see you in three months. He's like, you're not kidding me. I'm like, no. What do you want me to give you my VIN number to my new truck? So, uh, three months later. No, it was a little bit longer on this one. It was a bit longer on this one. I think I was at six or seven months. Well, n nor here or there. After that incident, my locals never, uh, never ganked my chance if, if I come in and tell them I need a truck, they, uh, they do their best. And they always did their best as far as uh, servicing. But the pricing, they try to yank me once. And I'm like, nah. So they forced me to go elsewhere. Moral of the story, if you're a dealership, guys, treat your... I know I sound like a busted piano. But treat your guys uh, properly and they'll treat you well. I mean, what did my local win? Either they're going to lose one sale or they're going to lose the rest of the sales. Well, 
there's probably eight or nine more sales to follow after that one. So end of the day, they're winning, you know. Maybe it was my ego, you could call it whatever you want. And for me, it's money is what it comes down to. I work my butt off. Daddy didn't hand me nothing. Uh, Daddy helped me with the shop, you know, ever since my childhood. Me and my dad were building a shop, and that's where I run my company out of, and he runs his stuff out of there, too. That's about as much help as I've got from my daddy. Um, logical, ethical, moral help. I mean, my dad has helped me a lot, but as far as finances and handing me stuff down, ha, good luck. Anyways, guys, uh, moral of the story, rule of thumb, don't let that salesman yank you. Um... I can't say all dealerships have that margin. I don't know what, where, when, because I don't know for a fact that a small dealership gets the same deals as the big dealership. I'm under the impression the more volume they push, the better deal they get, but that's just speculation, guys. It's not it's not a factor of any sort or kind. Therefore, uh, I can't say that. But... A good rule of thumb that I would still maintain, even if I leave out, a, you know, leave Spokane, would be at least ten grand off MSRP. Try on your local dealer. Let me know. Um, be firm about it. I mean, my locals are—they're good people, but they try to yank my chain once, and I said, "Well, I ain't BSing you. I'm gonna go." And I sure as heck did. Um, I was gonna refrain from this story and uh, come back to another time, but let me add a little. A bit more about Dave Smith. Now, why 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 have I said in the past don't deal with Dave Smith? Dave Smith is a is a they're they're not crooks. They're they're not a bad company. But if you want to establish a relationship, they could give two craps about you. You know, Dave Smith's about 60, 70 miles away from me. If I'm if I'm doing my math right. Um, they're not that far. They were my first stop. You know, when I decided I need a new truck, I went out to Dave Smith and I um, inquired about a truck. And they have a lot of trucks on their lot, but they didn't have the one I wanted. The guys like, you know, X Y Z needs to be a he needs to be an order truck. I'm like, well, let's, let's go ahead. So, guy's name's Luke. I still remember the guy's name. We killed almost a little over half a day with him. In the end, you know, I had my pricing already figured out. Uh, he wouldn't come anywhere near. And he, this is what he told me. He's like, no one's going to give you this price. I'm like, why is that? You know, because I was 99% sure this truck was, was going to get ordered. So that's why uh, I only left the, the deal at 300 bucks in my calculation for dealership. And I still feel like there's some... There's some calculational error. I feel like I could have gotten more, but I don't know for a fact. I just feel like that. But nor here or there. Knowing the truck's going to be ordered, I felt comfortable just leaving them with 300 bucks and uh, offering more business. And uh, I wasn't worth it to them, you know, at the time. But guess who called me? Because the story with Dave Smith went, I went from Dave Smith Right to Dishman, which is my local Dodge dealer. One of my local Dodge dealers. We have two of them here in town. And uh, I put in my order with uh, my locals. Well, guess who called? Luke. Hey, Paul, how's your shirts going? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Luke, I don't want to come off as a dick, but, dude, you wasted my time. I, I really have no interest in uh, in doing any more business with you. He's like, well, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Uh, he can't, I can't, I'm not going to lie and came up with the number, but I think he knocked off another two, three hundred bucks. That's why he called me. It's a, it's a whole salesman scheme deal. I'm like, dude, you know, it's, it's not how it works. I told you what I need. You didn't come even close. I got, you know, I really have a whole lot to talk to you about because... At this point, there's no care. I mean, I understand. I 100% understand you. If I came in and wanted this deal and uh, didn't give you my man's word that, hey, I'll be back in a couple months. I'll get another truck. And then in a few months, I'll get another truck. And then I'll get another truck. You know. But you don't care for that. And I understand. He's like, well, 
where are you at now with your perch? So I'm like, I put in an order. I'll have it in March. He's like, no way. I'm like, yeah. I went straight from your dealership to my locals. I put in an order. I supported the locals and uh, I got what I need. He's like, wow. I'm like, yeah. And by end of the conversation, uh, I got the drift that he felt like I was just BSing him. I'm like, Luke, I don't have time for this. I'm like, I'll tell you what. Call me in three months. I'll be looking for another truck. I'll give you a shot. Lord behold, three months goes by. This guy calls me. Uh, once again. He, uh, on a pickup that I needed, he was at 50000 I'm like, Luke, it's a $42,000 truck. He's like, Paul, where do you keep coming up with these numbers? I'm like, it is what it is, and that's what I'm going to get them for. And that's exactly what I bought my next truck for, from my locals at forty two. So, yeah. And then the, the story follows that with De Dennis Dillon, but I already shared that story with you guys. So, moral of the story, do your research and be firm with your decision. So there's no uh, there's no way the dealership could push you around. If they want to sell, they'll sell. Um, now you're going to ask, what should I expect for a one-time sale? I didn't mention that a few times that I was I was telling these guys that I'll be right back. For them, it's a I'll be right back. You know, two three months or whatever the the ske scheduling I had. A one-time sale, um, I was still able to get my brother-in-law in a truck, ten grand off of MSRP. But I feel like I had some, you know, the guys. I had something to do with that pricing because I'm like, hey, I got you another guy, yada yada. But I would expect you to get nothing less than seven grand off of MSRP. Nothing less, and if you get a grand. Is like ten grand for me, if you know what I'm saying here. Um, so seven, eight grand, you're already getting a good deal. Anything over that, you're getting a smoking deal for a one-time sale, like yourself, like for an average Joe that comes in and buys a truck every once every five years or whatever. So yeah, guys, uh, this is the best way I could explain this. Uh, this is the most knowledge I could share with you guys. Oh my goodness, this is a long video. All right. Sorry, guys. I might have to trim some stuff out. As always, have a mighty fun day.